Hey, I'm Sean. I'm Void. We're the Envy, and you're watching MPJ. Facebook and YouTube, the Bowden Pimps or Bust. Right, I thought right. that was really fun. I laughed when I saw that video actually. Um, I just, I love how you call pimping just metal rods and uh, <laughs> a TV. It wasn't even a TV well, screen, was it? It was a computer screen. Yeah. Where did you uh, get the rods? We, uh, we travel in a, in a like old converted school bus and uh, the seats and stuff. Oh. Yeah. It's got beds and stuff, but uh, you know, we have a lot of free time on the road. You know, not only to like Apparently. make videos like the one you saw, but also to uh, you know pimp our bus. Pimp our bus. <laughs> so Odin, our bass player, he, he took it upon himself to like extra like go the extra mile. Oh, that was so, like, His bunk, his bunk is ridiculous. It's Radio Shack. Basically. Yeah, he has like every Game thing. Boy and yeah. a keyboard and he's, and got piano and roll and, like, <laughs> he's got like and he he put Velcro on everything like even on our I don't know my cell phone but on the back of the cell phone to really like, Velcro. That's so cool. We can stick yeah. everything. All oh, Velcro bus. changed our tour. Yeah. It's amazing. Change your tour. Well, we all have it on the back of our phones and stuff, and so you don't have to lose it. Yeah, so you walk on our bus and there's like phones stuck to the walls and like this. Velcro's the new duct tape. Yeah, Velcro's, like, Velcro's our duct tape. That's really fun. That's so like Velcro, you should, what do you call it, sponsor you guys? Yeah, so please, I'll grow awesome. if you're Velcro. looking for a band that, uh, I don't know if that works for you, we're, we're here. Ready. Killer commercial. Ready for your endorsement. With the Super Bowl, maybe the Super 3M, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Show them your phones, be like, yeah. this is the new. Yeah. Forget, you know, iPods and all your accessories, yeah. Velcro. Yeah, Velcro <laughs> that should be the new slogan. Forget duct tape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, your bus broke down at one point, It was, um, and you guys had to do like a free show. Where was that exactly? Oh, Billings, Montana. In Montana, oh, yeah. Yeah, we... Um, was it a free show, or...? It's actually not the bus we're in now. The bus that we're in now is, uh, is, a, is in better shape, but that bus was... Yeah, I mean, it's the still bus? the same idea. I mean, anything could happen at any time. We could be driving to the show, and the bus could... Do you have like a technician on hand? So if something you did that, but now our, our keyboard player Johnny is pretty pretty technically savvy. Him and Sean team up. We, we we generally can fix it. But that was um that was a really interesting story. We were uh, driving, um we were at the Junos, which is the Canadian um, Grammys, the Canadian Grammys. Okay. So we're out there for that, and we we're driving back to home through the United States, and uh, in Billings, Montana, the transmission just exploded, uh, and uh, so we pulled into Billings. And they told us that it was just a clutch, no big deal. So we're like, oh great, we're gonna be out of here tonight. It was Thursday. Um, the next day, Friday, like we went out that night, had a great time. Billings is a great town if you ever want to go really play fun. poker and party with the locals. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, I just like poker. Yeah, well, <laughs> I we, would be good to we play against though. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't, <laughs> you win every time. We weren't very good at poker either. But, but uh, they, they took a lot of money. But anyways, <laughs> the point being, by Friday we found out that it was more than just the transmission. And uh, we were gonna have to spend the weekend there, and the bill was gonna be like five thousand dollars, which we didn't have. Yeah, we didn't have the money, and so uh -huh. we didn't know what to do. Our our bus was in the shop, and we had to fix it. We had to get home. Five thousand bucks. Yeah, for new transmission parts and stuff. Anyways, long story short, our roadie at the time, um, uh, great guy. He's like, uh, he's like, we should throw a benefit concert, like in the movie Empire Records. We should throw this like massive benefit concert, raise the money, and we'll get out of here. And it's like, oh, you're crazy. But uh, we're like, let's give it a shot. So we rented a van, started driving around all the different bars. Shamelessly finally, promoted. Yeah, just <laughs> crazy. Wait, we finally found Oh, but you actually drove around. Shamelessly it's promoted. Yeah. We got well, we finally found a bar that would have us. They would have us on the Monday night. So we spent Friday to Monday promoting this concert. So crazy. We had tickets. We're going to the malls. Went up, um, by like Sunday morning, or no, by Monday morning, um, the radio station showed up and knocked Knock on him. the bus's door. They dragged me out of bed at like 7 in the morning. I did the whole morning show. Oh, we wow. were in all the newspapers. Like, oh. People were like honking Minor at us. celebrities in a matter of three days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and, and by the time the show came around, we ended up like the whole place was sold out. Yeah. Uh, we raised the money and we got home. Yeah, it was like a family sure. reunion by the end of it because we met all these people throughout that weekend. And it was like a family reunion. It was amazing. Total rush when we walked on stage and because we were like, we were like, oh. That it works. Uh, walked we walked on stage and the place was completely Wow, packed. that's and awesome. Raise all the money. And yeah. So be inspired. <laughs> it's inspirational. <laughs> if your bus breaks down, you know what yeah, to do. Yeah. Thank, thank God I watched Empire Records. When totally. I, was a kid. I felt like Groundhog Day the whole time. Went to the same cafe, then went to the same happy hour. It was yeah. awesome. Oh, but it was good. It was good. It was, yeah. it was a good Groundhog Day. Great town, Billings, Montana. We love you. You guys mentioned too because you were. 
uh, the Juno Awards that you had been at earlier, and you guys are from Toronto. Yes. Um, and you guys were actually kind of found kind of interesting because it was um, like a thing with Gene Simmons one to bring more, uh, shed more light on the Canadian bands For here sure. in America. Yeah. Um, can you guys tell us a little bit about how that all hooked up and happened? Yeah, well, he, Gene Simmons started a, a label called Simmons Records. He actually had it for years and it's been off and on, but uh, he re kind of reopened it uh, about a year ago. In Canada. In Canada, only to find Canadian bands. His wife is Canadian, his kids are Canadian. Well, I shouldn't say his wife, they're not married, but Shannon's Canadian and his kids are Canadian. Come on, Mama. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, they're Canadian and he has this thing for Canadian music. He thought that if he, uh, you know, went up there, he'd find something special. And that's that's going to be located in Canada. That's the difference. It's not just that he's going to find a Canadian band and put them uh, on international um, exposure. It's it's having the headquarters in Canada and then um, helping to promote that. He said, one of the first things he said to us, U2 out of Ireland, ACDC out of Australia, why do those bands come out of, those, uh, out of there and have worldwide exposure? And uh, it was an interesting concept because Canadian bands that sign in Canada, usually they hit a ceiling and they can't um, have worldwide exposure. Um, obviously, Nickelbacks and Three Days Grace, they sign in the States and they have this uh, exposure. So, so yeah, his goal was to sign a band in Canada and try to have this worldwide, I don't know. That's challenge cool. himself to have worldwide exposure, but um, yeah. yeah, and before we know, you know, now we're on tour with Kiss, and it's all happening really fast. Yeah, it's good. The album, the album's uh, going to be done tomorrow. Like, wow, the last can finish tomorrow. Oh it's wow, coming up soon. Real quick, and the name yeah. of the album is. We don't know yet. Is it weird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going under the working title of Fingers Crossed, which is a song, a song that uh, really resonates. Uh, it's uh, on the album, so. Title, title track of the record. Yes. Which brings me to my next question. I know that you have your logo as like fingers crossed with a heart on it. Who actually came up with that idea and what does it mean to you? Um, well, to be honest, uh, uh, Gene, it was, it was Gene's idea. He, oh, really? uh, he, he, he claims to have invented this. Because he said that when he was when he was he used to wave at the crowd, he had yeah. to hold the pick in his hand, so he oh. waved the crowd. So he claims Dio says that he. It's an ongoing. It. Dispute, I don't know. You know. They Anyways, they he's, he's like, wouldn't it be great if you guys had like you know had like a like a thing? Like Something this. people could do. Oh. And so we were we were messing around some ideas and came up with with the fingers crossed idea, and the song came out of it. We had this song called Fingers Crossed, which is one of my favorites on the yeah. record. Um, me and Voy went to Mexico and. It's just this song on the beach called Fingers Crossed, which is like oh. right out. It's one of those experiences. It just happens, and we have this song, and and it really, it really rings, rings well. Um, Wait, so how do you do the fingers? Well, the fingers, fingers crossed. Cross. Just you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a symbol. I mean, fingers crossed has always been a symbol of like, like luck, hope, luck, yeah, and hope, luck, like faith. Yeah. We hear it almost every single day, out of context too. I, I hope this happens. Fingers crossed, or yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Just really so that's 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 the whole symbol. It's like it's like you know. And the heart on it is just the heart. The heart. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the heart's on there. Sometimes the heart's not on there. I guess when the heart's on there, it's in. It's in reference to like you know. Hope I have fun. Hope I find the one. Hope I find. Oh. Hope, I, hope I'm happy. You know. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah. And we're all pretty honest too. So it's even indicative of we have a whole um, a heart on our hand. So oh, like how you're saying. Very honest. Yeah. 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 Sort of That's cool. That's cool. Mostly hope. Yeah. So do you guys do that when you're playing then too to your crowd? We have a yeah. There's a part of the set where we play the song and the crowd's like putting the fingers crossed. You'll see it tonight. Nice. It's, yeah, it's it's a great moment actually. It's one of my favorite. Like it says, my favorite song to play. Yeah. It's really it's really um, it really came to life on a tour in Canada. We didn't realize you know maybe how strong a song it might be, and we started playing it on this tour. And every time we'd play the song, um, the bands that we were opening for would stand at the station and just watch that song, and then they'd leave. Oh, cool. But that song was just, <laughs> and they'd always sing it to us, like backstage, they'd you know, sing the lyrics and stuff. So it, I don't know, it really became a thing, and you know, it's become a... It's a quintessential yeah. Envy song, at least for this, for now, yeah. For, for now, yeah. So it's, it's your song, it describes you. Yeah. yeah, I think it really does describe yeah. us. Yeah. So you guys have your own Twitter page, and I was just wondering, do you all tweet or take turns tweeting, or do you yeah, fight I over mean, it? We split the, the responsibility with the band at the Envy. Um, we all have our personal ones as well. Um, Twitter's been such a common thing for, for everyone these days. So at first, yes. we were, it was just at the Envy, but now we have Sean at the Envy, Void at the Envy. So, um, <laughs> Um, there's a lot going on right now. A lot of, you know, there's album artwork and there's 
just so there's so much stuff. You, you're so, definitely a hands-on the album artwork. We're are so you, hands-on with that. Are you drawing stuff. it yourselves too? Uh, the album artwork is a concept that we kind of came up with. Um, you know, we we have to run it by a few people first. But oh. um, it's all yeah. It's all it's all. We definitely we definitely like to be in control of that. Sure. That's cool. That's Which, good. You should I don't be. Know if that, I don't know if that the label likes that. But <laughs> we don't care. But if it's your band, then I think you yeah. should yeah. have some say. Control our destiny. Yeah, and especially with the album artwork, because I know it's important too. Yeah. Your... Um, you guys are also doing. Episode type thing that you guys were doing. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little about that? We, we, um, I don't know, like, I, I've always had, like, a passion for video editing, and, like, um, like if I was doing music, I'd definitely want to get into film and stuff, and so, you know, I get to, like, mess around with, you know. So, do you shoot that yourself? Oh, yeah. We shoot, we shoot all, all the stuff. Like yeah. oh, all, all the stuff, all the stuff you see online, we've, we've shot ourselves. Um, all, like, yeah, little HD flip cams, and this is on the bike, you know, we have long drives, and then cut together videos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yes. Do you have, like, do you have, like, a video program, editing program that Final obviously cut. on your Final Cut. That's yeah. cool. And then you just use, and that's what you use to post your. That's all those Yeah, I was wondering yeah. about that. I was like, they have like a camera crew that always follows them around. No, so do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yeah. No, and the label's always like, you know, you don't have to make them so elaborate. And it's like, well, we have time. Like, well, we have time, and we kind of, I don't know, just having hey, how's it going? We're here. It's just not enough. It's not yeah. as entertaining. So. Yeah. Right, because you also have uh, video blogs too. Some yeah. video blogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which aren't quite the same as the webisodes. I, I guess not. I guess not. I, I think um, those webisodes you're talking about are a little older. Uh, when we started, yeah, we were going to do this like MVTV thing, which was going to be like the more intense ones than video blogs. Mm -hmm. Now they're kind of just all video. Oh, blogs. they're all sort of video. Yeah, yeah, just all whatever video we're doing at the time, we just put it up there. And, yeah. Yeah, that's that's how I knew about you're getting stuck too, when you're like, mm -hmm. I'm yeah, just doing this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> naked juice, which by the way I love. That's like my favorite. Oh, it's amazing. I, I love that stuff. It's so hot. I'm not just that. saying that, but you're like naked juice, and you were giggling about it. No, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. Another sponsor. Velcro yeah. naked juice. <laughs> so they go together so well. Velcro you can velcro. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. Don't have the pothole. Yeah, the pot hole. yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I just smell my naked juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, so, of course, you know, I wanted to know what has it been like for you being touring with Kiss and being picked up by Gene Simmons? I mean, that must be like. Well, at first. We were asking Gigi, hey, you know, it'd be great if we could do one Kiss show this summer. Oh, you asked him? Just to prove. Just to If we could do one Kiss show this summer, that'd be so cool to have you guys one show, maybe somewhere close to home, and we could use that as like... For naysayers to say, hey, you know, Gene's really serious about this band. And to hope for Kiss, of course. Yeah. And he came back to us two days later and said, here's the itinerary, and it was 30 shows. Wow. And we're like, are we supposed to pick one of these shows and then do that one? Or he's like, no, no, you're doing them all. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You really took it seriously. Yeah, so we were just cool. like blown away. I can't believe it. And, and they're adding us to more shows as we, as we go. Wow. There's That's extra awesome. shows that we're being added to. Yeah. We're having a really good time. We've really clicked with the uh, with the crew. I mean, there's, yeah. there's a hundred people on the road. And they have a really great uh, team. And they all seem, we all seem to get along. We've been hanging out with um, Doc McGee, who is like Kiss's yeah. manager, managing all the crew. And, Bon Jovi. I think bon Jovi. Yeah, so have you convinced them to manage you guys yet? Well, <laughs> we have a great manager. Nice. Really 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 He's like, <laughs> daggers in your back. <laughs> no, but, uh, it's, it's been a, a surreal experience every night we play to packed um, amphitheaters. Like, it's, good exposure. It's giving you really, it's really good exposure. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but you had your own fan base and now you're adding to it on top of that. Absolutely. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really great. We're definitely looking forward to seeing your show tonight. Yeah, awesome. um, and good luck with everything. Thank when is so that the album supposed to hit? It'll be out in the fall. In the fall. So and we should have maybe an EP. It's we'll have, it might be called Fingers Crossed. We have an EP that's coming out called Don't Let Go. I've got five songs on it. It'll be out in the next couple of weeks on iTunes. And I think there'll be a physical like EP for sale as well. Yeah, wasn't it like August 29th, I think? Is that what the, is that we saw? I think that's the date. Well, they're ahead of us. Someone knows that. Oh, I know. It's, oh, it's, no. it's, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's. Today and tomorrow, it's all being completed. So, so if you guys are here in the states, make sure to catch them. Come early to the Kiss show if you're coming, because it'll be a treat to watch these guys. Music is pretty cool. So, um, thank you guys. And uh, this has been a video edition of Musician Photo Journal. See you soon. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>